Hey guys, I'm Jade Ocean, namaste. So today I'm gonna to take you through a quicker flow that's gonna to help to open up your chest area, so the whole thoracic spine area. So we're gonna get the shoulders, the front and the back, the neck region, the chest, we're gonna open the ribs up a little bit, and then also to the upper back. So this is an area that hits all of us, no matter who you are, just today, the way we are, we're always sitting and moving forward and hunching and on computers and stuff. So this area tends to slouch and get really tight in the front. So we're gonna try to really open that up and engage even the back area. So um, also too, super beneficial if you're pregnant and then also to postnatal, so after pregnancy, especially if you're breastfeeding. And we always have baby hunched like this. So definitely make sure that you do this. Try to do it a few times a week if you can. It's gonna be, help you out a lot, super beneficial. So today all you need is definitely a strap. So make sure you have a strap or a rope or something that you can get a little bit wider than shoulder distance. So maybe about a foot out on each side or so. And then um, make sure that you have a thick blanket. So you don't need to have a bolster, although you can use a bolster. I just don't want the bolster to be too high up. Um, and if you're using a blanket, don't make, make sure that it's not too uh, thin. So we need a, a little bulkiness with it. So anyways, grab your stuff, no blocks today. You don't need them. You don't need anything else, but make sure that you have some water because even though it's a little bit quicker, you're definitely gonna get dehydrated, especially if you're pregnant. So make sure you drink that water as needed and I will meet you on your mat when you're ready. Guys, so let's start in a Sukhasana, so an easy seated pose. Find that position that works for you. Let's grab our blanket, so roll it up so that way then it's a little bit higher up. I'm gonna elevate up just a little bit, but not too high. So make sure you come to the edge of the blanket. All that's gonna do is just give you a little bit of height here. So your hips are just a little bit higher than the knees. So sit up nice and tall. Make sure your legs can feel comfortable here. You're not, you don't feel like you're crouching or anything, rolling forward, rolling back. So it's a little bit better if you can come towards the front to let your legs just kind of fall and surrender towards the floor. So just taking a minute to find that grounding sensation, whatever's touching the floor or your blanket. Sit up nice and tall. Find that neutral spine. <clears throat> Think of lengthening through the crown of the head. Draw a full breath in and let the shoulders just roll up towards your ears and then exhale, pull them down your spine. Just let those shoulder blades come down your back. And then inhale again, lengthening up through the spine, creating space in between each vertebra. And then exhale, let the shoulders just soften down. Your hands can be on your thighs for now. Elbows just relax in towards the body. Maybe you close your eyes. Just taking a moment just to draw your attention here right now. Don't let anything else get in the way right now. If you notice anything popping up, maybe thoughts, maybe feelings, maybe sensations other than pain. If it's pain, adjust yourself. But um, just noticing it and just letting it pass right now. We're gonna, we're gonna focus right now on the mat, on our bodies, on our intention. Set an intention for yourself, whatever that may be. It could be something you're grateful for maybe just a mantra for the day just find what works for you maybe i am healthy or you can think of something like i'm going to work on me today whatever that is always coming back to that something you're grateful for i'm just finding that breath so <clears throat> let's just bring our hands to our belly first we're going to take a full breath in through the nose and then draw right down to our belly. So breathe in, think of the shoulders just expanding out subtly, so not forcing anything, but just notice the shoulders coming out on the inhale. Think of coming up tall through the crown of the head. Draw that breath right into your belly. And then exhale, feel your belly sink back in. Again, inhale, drawing that breath right down to your belly, and then exhale, again, noticing it sink in. Drawing your breath into your belly. Another inhale and exhale. So what's happening is our torso is divided. So we have the top portion, the middle portion, and the bottom. The bottom is our belly. The top is gonna be the lungs and the heart. And then we have right here in the center, which is a thin muscle group of the diaphragm. And so the diaphragm is kind of like a dome shape. What happens is, when we inhale into the belly, the diaphragm 
descends down into the belly and it pushes everything in the belly out. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to switch it up and we're gonna breathe and expand the diaphragm out. So we're gonna expand it up, let it come up, contract the belly a little bit and you'll feel the ribs because it is attached to the ribs are gonna rise out to the side. So bring your hands now to your ribs, take a full breath in, let the shoulders still maintain that softness. Inhale, not letting the heart raise too high here, contracting the belly, feeling those ribs just expanding out and then exhale, let everything come out. Again, full breath in and out. Oh, you can let your hands release and just notice that feeling. Let's try to continue. A few times on your own, let's try to make this breath equal on the inhale and the exhale. So let's do a five count. So inhale, one, two, three, four, five, and exhale, slow controlled, five, four, three, two, one, feeling the ribs just compress right back into the body. Again, expanding into the ribs. One, two, three, four, five, and exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Continue a couple times just on your own. Nice full breath. Continue to sit nice and tall. Just drawing your attention to your breath right now. Noticing your space right now. Just on your mat, nothing else can come to you. There's nothing to do. Just focus on the breath. So we're gonna stretch our neck out first. So do me, so we're gonna stretch out our neck first. So let's bring the right hand up, bring it up overhead, sit up nice and tall. You can reach your hand up and then exhale. You can place your hand just on the back side of the head. We're gonna lift again for an inhale, sitting up tall, let your legs soften. And then exhale, begin to drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. We're expanding that left side of the neck up. So almost think of it like the ribs. They're just, ex it's expanding. I don't think of pulling. We're not pulling the head. We're not applying any force here. We're just embracing that space. Maybe you can walk your fingers behind your head a little bit and just change the stretch if you walk behind that head you'll notice the stretch goes a little bit further towards the back of the neck think of pulling that left shoulder down feel free to walk those fingers out to the side on the left hand just to intensify the stretch again inhale and exhale maintaining that neutral spine inhale release the hand down just roll the neck very slowly out just a couple times maybe switch the rotation all right, let's do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna reach that left arm straight up, take a full breath in. Exhale, release the hand to the back side of the head. Inhale again, lengthen, exhale, soften. So drawing that left ear to the left shoulder. And think of opening. We're not pulling, we're lifting, finding the length. And then maybe you walk your fingers on the right hand out, just intensifying. Let's stretch a little bit more. Feel free to move the hand on the, the left hand back a little. Keep drawing that breath into that area of tension. Notice where that area, that sensation is and think of drawing that breath there. And then exhale, release the hand down. Very carefully rotate the neck just a couple times. One direction one way, one direction the other way. All right, okay, so we're gonna do we're going to use our strap now, so go ahead and grab your strap. All right, so we're going to grab our strap. We're going to come shoulder distance and then open the arms up just a little bit. So we're going to stretch out the thoracic, the front chest area. So make sure that if you feel any tightness that you open up just a little bit more. If you're not feeling it and it feels like it's just not enough, then go ahead and choke up. That's a riding horse's term, but go ahead and tighten up on the rope or choke up on the rope. Okay, so we're gonna start with our hands just in front here, have the rope straight out in front of us, just lightly touching our thighs, full breath in. Let's pull those shoulders back. Inhale, drawing the breath right into the ribs. So 
sitting up nice and tall. Let those legs be soft and then exhale. Find that neutral spine, let the shoulders soften down. So again, inhale, remember inhale is for length, for space, and then exhale is to soften and go just a little bit deeper into our stretch maybe. So let's inhale and raise that strap up, full breath in. Think of reaching through the side body. We're not crunching our shoulders up, so keep those shoulders down. Also not forcing them down, so softening them down. And then exhale, cactus those elbows out to the side to draw that strap behind the head, space behind the head, between the strap and the head. Inhale to reach back up. Exhale, bring it back forward, not reaching forward with the shoulders. The shoulders stay put. We're just rotating the shoulders right now. Inhale to reach it back up, drawing that breath right into the ribs, and then exhale, cactus it out. So elbows are coming down. We're really opening from the shoulders. You may feel it in your biceps. Inhale to reach up, and then exhale again. Bring that strap down. Let's do a few more times. Inhale, reach it up. Keep those legs soft. Exhale, cactus. Keep the ribs, so those front ribs soft into the body. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring it right back down. Inhale, reach the strap up. Exhale, cactus it out. Inhale, draw back up. Exhale, release it back down. Let's do one more time. Inhale, reach up. Keep the legs soft. Exhale, cactus it out. Inhale, reach it back up. Stay here. And then exhale, we're gonna bend just the arms, lifting the left ribs, opening up those right ribs. This may be just a little teeny tiny movement here. So my arms stay straight, I'm not bending my left elbow. I'm, I'm letting my arms just fall towards the left side. So actually my right arm is just straight up overhead. Just a little subtle bend, opening up, kind of like the back area of, the side area of the back. Full breath in here, and then exhale. Maybe a tip a little bit further. Keep space in the left side. No crunching those ribs. Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale, let's turn towards. Exhale, let's bend towards the right side. Again, keeping both arms nice and straight. Inhale, keep your spine up nice and upright here. And exhale, maybe tipping a little bit more towards the right. So we want to press evenly into the sitting bone, so we're not coming up off the, the left side at all. Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale, release the hands down. Little energy building up into those shoulders. All right, let's release our strap for a second. You can just place it behind you to the side. Okay, so roll the shoulders out. Take an inhale, reach your arms straight up. And then we're gonna turn towards the left side, just using our core, so twisting and turning towards the left side. And then exhale, release the left hand down behind you. And then your right hand can come to the inner thigh. Full breath in here. And exhale, maybe you can reach around for your right thigh around the back. Keep that left shoulder open. Keep the legs soft. Just using the core, pulling your core in. And then inhale, let's reach both arms to come forward. And then exhale, we're gonna twist and turn towards the right side using our core and then release the right hand behind you. Left hand's gonna come to inner left thigh. Inhale for the length, exhale, maybe you come in for a bind, reaching the right hand behind you for that left thigh. I'm just kind of reaching around here and grabbing it. I'm not forcing again. Remember, force is what we don't wanna do. I want to pay attention to our body's ability and work with where we are. Inhale, reach the arms right back up. And exhale, release the hands down, shake the shoulders out. Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> a lot for the shoulders to start. All right, let's go ahead and um, we can move our blanket just off to the side. So I'm just going to place mine right off to the back here. And we're going to come into a puppy pose. So go ahead and come into tabletop your knees can be depending on where you are if you're pregnant just for say then you might may want to have your knees out a little bit further but these are going to be under the thighs or out to the side a little bit and then what we're going to do is curl the toes under so we're opening up those feet just a little bit walk the hands out in front of you take a full breath here stretching out the front of the shoulders Full breath and exhale, maybe letting your heart sink a little bit further towards the floor. 
Keep supporting your back. So we're keep pulling, lifting from below, from the floor. So we're lifting up, allowing your chest and your heart to fall towards the floor. Full breath in and exhale. Stay with me. Inhale again and exhale. Very carefully walk yourself back up. Open your knees, bring your toes to touch, and then we're just gonna come in for, you can come all the way down for balasana and child's pose, or you can come onto your forearms if you need the space if you're pregnant. And letting your head, your forehead just fall to the floor. This is a wonderful grounding pose, so just notice that stability from the ground right now. Let your body just sink and surrender. Keep pulling your sitting bones towards your heels. And exhale. Okay. So let's let's come back on palms. We're gonna sit in Virasana. So you can grab your blanket actually. And this is really nice. Just place the blanket between your legs here. So you can sit here in Virasana. I just have it long so it fits. It's not out so my thighs go out to the side. You wanna have it long from front to back. Be sure that you have your strap. So grab your strap and just have it right in front of you. We're gonna use it in just a second. So bring your arms up, full breath in, and then exhale, release your elbows out to the side. We're gonna clasp the hands. They don't necessarily have to be clasped, but just bring them right behind the head. So I call this butterfly, so the elbows are out to the side. We're sitting up nice and tall. Our ribs are not pulling forward, they're pulling out to the side on the inhale. We're sitting up, keeping the chest contracted into the body, keeping the belly nice and firm to support us, making sure we're not rolling forward or backwards. Arms are behind us, we're opening the shoulders up, full breath in here. And then exhale, we're gonna roll the back backwards, bring those elbows forward, coming into a modified cat pose here. Inhale, extend it back out. A little bit of a back bend, you can lift your heart up just a little bit, breathing into the side ribs. Exhale, let it out. Pull your belly in. Inhale, reach it back up. Do this a couple more times and exhale, rolling it forward. Keep pressing into your shins, into the earth, inhale really shining your heart forward and exhale roll it forward inhale release arms are going to come up full breath in reach through the side body and then exhale release the arms down to the back so straining them back to the side behind you and then you can either clasp them if you can reach or you can grab your strap if you can't quite get your hands together, so wherever you are, and then just pull those shoulders down. So we wanna pull, spin the triceps back. The tricep is this area, so it's the back of the arm. Spin it back from the shoulders. You'll notice your shoulders open. Take a breath here, pull the shoulders down, and then exhale, let those front ribs soften into the body. Remember, expanding into the side ribs here. Keep the belly nice and firm. No rolling forward with the belly. We wanna make sure that we're not pulling anything forward in the lower back here. We wanna keep everything nice and neutral back there. Full breath in again, and then exhale, release it down. Okay, so go ahead and grab your strap, and then we're just gonna place our strap right behind our feet. So you can place it behind the heels on your feet. And then come up to your toes. So you can curl your toes under. We're coming, or you can just have your heels up and you can still be on the top of the toes. So full breath in here. And then exhale, we're just gonna round forward, pull on that strap to really open up the top of the back. Let the shoulders just roll forward here, really pulling the top of the back forward. Full breath in and exhale rounding just a little bit more rabbit pose can build a lot of energy in the legs but it's really beautiful to open up the back body and the traps which get really tense one more deep breath in and then exhale release everything down all right okay so you can move your strap off to the side again Okay, so you can move your strap off to the side again. We're gonna move our blanket again back off to the side and come into a tabletop pose. So hands placed on the floor, shoulders over the hands, spread the fingers, nice and tall. Knees are gonna be right under the hips. You can have your toes pointed back, full breath in, press into the mat. Think of lengthening, creating that space in the arms. So we're lengthening up the arms, full deep inhalations. 
and exhale. We're not rounding the back in any direction. Okay, we're gonna press into our shins, press into our knees. If you need to put the blanket under your knees for a little bit of softness, go for it. We're gonna press into the left hand. We're gonna spin, inhale, extend the right arm out. To the reach all the way up and then exhale, weave the hand through like you're creating a bar, like you're carrying a ball. And then inhale, reach it back up. And then exhale, weave it through. Inhale again, reach it up nice and slow, move with your breath. Exhale, weave it through. Inhale, reach it up one more time. Exhale, weave it through. We're gonna bring that hand all the way, drawing the shoulder down to the floor. If you need to walk up and create space, if you're pregnant, you can. Let your shoulder fall to the floor. Walk it through, so pull it through. Inhale, maybe reaching that left arm up. Take a full breath here. And then exhale. Pull the shoulder back. That left shoulder is going to come back down the back. Maybe you reach the left arm behind the back to reach for the inner right thigh to bind. Think of really opening that left shoulder up. Full breath in. Let your head just fall to the floor. And exhale. We're opening up the back of the right shoulder right now. Inhale again, keep breathing. And exhale. One more breath. And let it go. And then reach that left arm back up. Bring the palm of the hand right in front of the face. We're gonna press into the floor. Unweave that right hand, reach it back up one more time, and then bring it right back to the floor. Shake the shoulders out, maybe sway side to side, move your body organically just to feel good here. Full breath in, slow, soft exhale out. Move those shoulders. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, reset yourself up, press into the palms, spread those fingers, bring those shins to the floor, full breath in. Let's extend the left hand out to the side. Deep breath, spin it up towards the sky. Maybe you're just coming out to the side. Maybe you're able to really lift. And then exhale like you're carrying a ball, weave it through, good. Inhale, bring it back up, nice and slow. And exhale, weave it through. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, weave it through. Inhale, bring it back up. And then let's weave it through. Pull it all the way through. Let your, out, let your shoulder drop to the floor. Full breath in here. Walk it forward. And then exhale. Maybe you reach that right arm up towards the sky. Pulling that shoulder down. Adjust yourself. Make sure you have space if you need to move your body up a little bit. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you keep your hand on the floor. Whatever works for you. is It's your body, so this is your practice. Do what works for you. Maybe you reach that right hand behind the back to reach for the inner left thigh. Keep pulling that right shoulder down. Full breath in. Keep those hips aligned. Don't let them fall out to the side. And exhale. Let the face be soft here. Notice where the tension's building up. Notice where the energy is right now. Maybe you feel some heat building up. This is a pose we don't do in our daily life at all. So it's nice to do this, although it can be a little bit awkward. So just sit with it, feel it out, notice the sensations. Inhale, bring the right hand back up if you were in a bind. And then exhale, place the hand right in front of the face, press into the palm. Unweave that left hand. Let's bring both hands under the shoulders again, moving organically with your body. Do what works for you. Just a little rotation, lubrication in the shoulder. Maybe you curl your toes under. <clears throat> okay, so let's press into the palms. We're gonna curl the back toes under now. We're gonna lift the hips up and back, going into a little down dog. Adho Mukha, so make sure the heels are placed behind the toes. They can be lifted. You can bend the knees to press into the hands. So opening the shoulders up here, just building a little strength in the shoulders. Full breath in, let the hips shine back. And exhale, maybe lower the knees down, just stretch those legs out. They've been bent for a little bit here. Let's inhale, walk forward. So make your way all the way to the back of your hands. 
Feet are gonna be a little bit wider, toes are pointed forward. We're gonna inhale to halfway lift, straightening the legs just a little bit. And then exhale, hang here. Go ahead and grab each elbow, let your arms just hang. Notice your back maybe stretching right now, your side body. Let your neck be soft and limber, maybe shake it out. Full breath in to the back body. So notice the back ribs really lifting. And exhale, press into the feet. We're gonna inhale, halfway lift, so straightening the legs just a little bit, maybe spinning the inner thighs back. And then fly those arms back, reach back maybe to clasp or to elbow again, so you can grab your elbows behind you. And then again, we're just gonna shift the body forward, falling into a forward fold, Uttanasana. So if you're in a clasp, let those arms really open up in the shoulders. So we want to really pull those, that fist away from us. Pull the shoulders down our back. Really shining your glutes up towards the side here, towards the back of the mat. Let the head hang. Let those hamstrings open up here. And then exhale, release the hands back down. Press into the palms. Let's step back, left followed by right. Let's meet right back in down dog. Open the shoulders, lift the heels, let the heels fall. Breathe, maybe you pedal your dog out. Just walk it out just for a sec. This last time we're gonna be in down dog. And then when you're ready, go ahead and shift your knees down. We're gonna cross at the legs and come right back to a seated pose. So I want you to grab your blanket and then place it to the top of the mat. So make sure that your upper body will fall onto it. So come into Sukhasana again, just to recenter yourself. And then if you're pregnant, this is wonderful. You could do this uh, prone position, so flat on your, on your stomach as well, but I'm gonna just show you a different way to do it. It's just an alternative, because um, you could do the other way anytime. But this is just really nice, especially if you're pregnant, so you can still get this beautiful stretch in the front of the shoulders here. Okay, so take a full breath in, and then make your way, press your left hand onto the floor and then your right hand too. So just twisting towards the left side, and then extend both your legs just out to the right side. So keeping your knees bent, we're just gonna very carefully make our way onto our blanket. So make sure you're gonna fall with your upper body on your blanket. So if you're pregnant, be really careful coming down, and then have that left arm extend straight back. So we're gonna come into a T position with that left arm. So we're still on our side, on our left side, but our left arm is extended straight back. You can have the palm facing the floor. Let your head just rest onto your blanket as well. And take a full breath in here. And exhale, and then bring your right foot to the floor and you're gonna just bring that right knee up. So let, you'll notice your left hip and then the side of the leg just Pressing and grounding down into the floor. You can come onto the tippy toes on the right leg. Think of opening from the hip. And exhale, letting the neck be soft here. You can use your right hand just to press into the floor. Just really opening up that front deltoid, that front shoulder. Again, full breath in and exhale. Just sitting with this pose for just a second. Just keep your breath moving. Maybe checking in with yourself, noticing where your mind is right now. Are those thoughts still trying to come in? If they are, it's okay. We're not forcing anything away. We're just noticing it and recognizing that right now is your time. We're not going to tend to anything else but you. A couple more breaths. And exhale. One last breath in, and then exhale. Very carefully bring your right knee back down on top of your other leg. You can press into the right palm to lift very carefully. So you're using a little arm muscle here and then drag that right arm back up. Be careful because it was extended. So if you use the muscle, the muscles are a little bit stretched right now. So be careful pressing into the floor. So come back to your Sukhasana pose. Let's grab our blanket and just switch it. So we're just gonna come to the other side now. So full breath in, and then exhale, release your right hand towards the floor. You can spin and turn, the left hand can touch the floor. You can bring your feet out to the left side this time. Knees are gonna stack, 
full breath in and then walk it down adjust your blanket if needed here okay so we're gonna press into the left hand extend that right hand straight back it's gonna fall falling the shoulder right onto your blanket let your head come down to the blanket so make sure you feel pretty okay and comfortable here and then make sure you turn open that way then you're not compressing your stomach if it feels like if you're pregnant if you're pressing baby into the floor we don't want to do that so just adjusting yourself as needed take a breath and then exhale moving slowly into each position especially stretching or anything that's really strengthening take your time through each position move slowly into it do not force anything okay let's bring that left foot into the floor tippy toes are on the floor and then my knee is going to come up full breath in my left palm is just pressing into the floor just for some stability here i notice my right side body is down into the floor my right leg is soft here stretch my shoulder and if it feels uncomfortable you can always keep your leg down you don't have to lift the leg so if it feels you know like you're getting a deep stretch without lifting the leg then stay there by all means if you're pregnant we don't want to push anything too far so notice what your body is feeling and if it feels like it's it's right there on the brink and stay right there we don't want to force anything we already have enough going on if we're pregnant uh, with our hormones <laughs> creating enough flexibility and instability we don't want to go too far we need more strength at that point more strength more comfort a couple more breaths let your head be soft let your face just sink and melt onto the blanket maybe drawing your attention back to your mind one more deep breath in and exhale release the knee back down and then very carefully press into the left hand you're gonna press yourself up drag very carefully that right hand bring it to the mat and again be careful with using the muscles on the right hand right after we stretch it let's bring our hands right or bring our legs right back to Sukhasana you can sit up on your blanket again if that feels good for you and always make sure that you we spent the whole time unless you switch switch your legs so we spent the whole time and i didn't have you guys switch so maybe you did maybe you were smart and you went ahead and did it but <clears throat> maybe you didn't like me <laughs> you forgot so anyway switch it if you did not so take a deep breath in here and exhale let everything go just noticing how your body feels right now let's open the arms up full breath in Stay for the exhale, let the legs be soft. Inhale and exhale. The shoulders soften down. Find that strength in the side body, keeping yourself up. And then exhale, roll those arms forward. Give yourself a big hug. So you're gonna cross the elbows and then just wrap the hands right to the outside of the shoulders. Maybe you reach the back body here. Inhale, lift the spine. Exhale, let the shoulders fall. Let the chin fall. Really hugging yourself. Maybe coming back to that intuition that you set in the beginning of this practice. What does that mean to you? maybe just repeating it to yourself just a few times always remembering the hardest part of life is once we learn something it's so easy to forget so it's about remembering doing the work we need to to remember the steps necessary to remain calm clear happy and work with all the tools that we have to get through the tougher moments Inhale, release the hands right back out to the side, nice and slow. Reach out to the side, pull the arms back just a touch here. We're not back bending, so keep that spine nice and neutral. And then exhale, opposite direction. So whatever elbow is on top, we're going to switch it this time, which 
I did it wrong. <laughs> and then reach for your back. Full breath in, create the space in the spine and the vertebra. And then exhale, drop that chin down. Noticing the tensions maybe still left over in the face, just letting that go, just releasing it. Giving yourself permission to just surrender the face muscles for a moment here. And let those legs be soft. One more full breath in. And exhale. Release the hands down. You can bring your palms right back to your thighs. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your head up to face forward. You can close your eyes. Inhale, arms are going to come straight up overhead. Exhale, draw your hands right to Anjali. We're touching in the palms, pressing that energy through the center. Bring your thumbs right to touch your heart. You can let your elbows extend out to the side. Full breath in here. Just feeling your heart beating right into your palms. And exhale, dropping your chin. Just showing gratitude for yourself for taking the time to work on your heart center, to open your upper body, to really try to balance yourself out so you can keep going in this crazy busy world. Thank you for letting me guide you through this. I hope you join me again. Namaste.